not sure if he wants to put his car up there after you. Yeah. Why not? Well, I guess I'm well, I told him you're not competing. Are you trying? Oh, is this, is this is a competition. This is what it turned out to be. No, it's not fair if you're competing in the two, winning the two hundred dollars. That's just not fair. <laughs> Why now? Yeah. It's not fair for him if you're competing in the winning the two hundred. Oh, I'm not competing. <laughs> you're fine. I'm not competing. We're just competing with my last video. We did eleven. We're trying to break eleven hundred horsepower. So a little spicy for a stock engine. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna go or blow? What do you think? You know, it's it's gonna go until it blows. Everything was going so great until it wasn't. Dang. That's nuts. That's freaking nuts. Nine hundred and five torque. Yeah, they're playing with gain and sensitivity right now. I think. Yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't argue with this. Mm -hmm. It's great. 11, Stock engine. 1100 C 823 or something. Yep. I'm pumping 85. Pretty impressive. <laughs> you can't really argue with a yeah, thousand horsepower um, out of this new twin turbo kit. By the way, if you're unfamiliar, hellhorseperformance.com is where you can find this, this turbo kit. So, by the way, though, if you're interested in that kit, check out my email address down below. Instead of using like a discount code, I would work a deal with Hellhorse. Basically, I can pretty much send you the invoice myself, kind of get that one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a sales pitch, I guess, but you know, I think it's pretty cool because I can interact with you guys a little bit more if you want to twin turbo your car. So yeah, if you're interested in one of these kits, yeah, def definitely let me know. Send me an email, hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I see if I can get you hooked up a little bit and maybe save you a couple bucks off of the kit. But the numbers are actually higher. We got more torque with the C85, but the horsepower is higher with the pumpy yeah, E85. So got us a lineup here. I love competition orange. That one makes 1100 horsepower. I love it. ZL11LE. I really want another one. I don't know why, I really do. I just got the cover wheels on it too. I like that. Look at this wrap. Woo, that's fire. It's got the new GT500 front end. Yeah. That's pretty sick, man. That's pretty sick. It's out of this world. Oh, you get it? Yeah, I got it, got it. I <laughs> the got galaxy? It. It's out of this world, man. It's out of this world. That's so cheesy. I'm such a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic. So 18, 18, 18 pounds. But it went out to 8,000. Yeah, you're slipping. Oh, look at it. Yeah, you're slipping. But you got a new pulley on the way, you said. Yeah. Oh, it is an Odin. Yeah. Yep. That's the Odin. Hey, was it slow? Yeah, I know. 700. Seven fourteen. There you go. Holy shit! There you go. Seven fourteen. Ninety three. Low boost. Oh, the ZL one one LE. I like the color, bro. Looks good. Love it. Ooh. Might be close. <laughs> it's aggressive. I love these cars, I really do. A few bullets on, it's got long tube headers, if I heard correctly. E50 in the tank. I think it's a 2.1, they said Kenny Bell. What's it gonna make about 400? It's gonna make about 400? What do you think, Matt? Hey, 485. 485? <laughs> 412. We're getting there. We'll, get, we'll see you on the next pull.
409. You're always going to have about a 2 to 3% variation. 445. Hits on the dyno. All right, so our good friend Ken Speed out of 731, he's got the same twin turbo kit, but still on 93 pump gas, but everything has pretty much been upgraded on his car too. And we're going to see what it does. So I don't know if I'm going to share his full numbers, his glory numbers at the end. You might have to go check out his channel, his videos for that, but you know, I just don't want to give away all the secrets, but it should be really impressive. So I'll tell you this much. When I was on 93 pump gas before the fuel system that we got from Lethal Performance and E85 and all of that, on wastegate pressure for me with the old twin turbo kit, which is also what he just took off of the car. If memory serves me well, I think we did about 630 horsepower around six and a half to seven pounds of boost. The cool thing about him too is he has a slightly smaller turbo. Now, normally that'd be a downgrade, right? But he has the new exhaust turbines that are supposed to spool or flow about 30% more. I don't have that. So nice little upgrade that he has, but I'd be willing to put money on this. That I think we're about to see about a 650 horsepower pull on wastegate. If he does that, if he can pull it off, if this new revised kit does that, that's going to be really impressive, guys. We're talking about like six to seven pounds, baby boost. The turned up, if it gets anywhere close to 850 at around 12, 13 pounds, I mean, that's going to sell the kit for a lot, I think. A lot of you guys out there don't have E85 in your area, so I mean, that's, that's really impressive. But uh, we're going to see what happens. All right, Mr. Speed Addict 731 about to get some hits on the dyno, same turbo kit, but he's running a 6365. I've got a 6467. 93 pump gas though, but he chose to leave his finish in a raw, like a brushed finish. But with the velocity blue, man, it looks so good. Oh yeah, that looks that looks freaking fire, bro. That looks freaking good. Where's all your push pins? And you gotta wrench them on top of They're all right. He's leaving it all off. Ooh, just to make sure that nothing's I got you. I got you. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Get all that oil. First pull. I filmed with your camera. I forgot to film with mine. He did six pounds. It made 652 and 592. That's so stupid. Crazy. Yeah, I call 650. We, he did 650 at six pounds. So now we're going to take it up to probably about nine and see where it goes. And then again, I don't know if I'll share his final glory number. Go check out his video. Links down below. You got to check him out. He's been on my channel a bunch of times. We're good friends. But don't be scared. Got a whole two. Got a whole two cameras. Okay guys, we're gonna wrap up the video. We're gonna actually leave the car here and the reason why is there is still yet more work to be done. Everything with the car is completely fine. Makes incredible power. Didn't like the C85 so much, so we'll go back to regular uh, e pump E85 or we could try out the Ethanol 1R, the new stuff, which actually Hell Horse is getting a bunch of it here soon. So I'm sure he's gonna test that out on the vehicle. But the best thing about all this is we upgraded to the new kit everything changed or i'm sorry everything is the same we just changed the kit and picked up a bunch of more power that just kind of shows the efficiency and the reason we're in the daylight now is because we were getting ken's car done which is out here and made insane power go check out his channel to see what exactly it does on 93 i think you guys would be really impressed honestly but my car's going to stay here the reason why is well let me find one let's go find one right here right over here by alex I think this is what we're gonna do. There's still yet some work to do because now we've made, I'm kicking things. Now we've made a bunch of power and I think the time has come that we start to make it a little safer. So this is one of the options I'm looking at doing over the winter or over the next couple of months is maybe something like this. This is an RPM uh, roll cage and it has the 
door swing outs. Um, looks like it's really good quality and, and they offer a couple of different metal choices, heavy and then light. You got to pay more for the light obviously, but um, I think it's really cool that you have the option to have a six point. I don't want to go full 850 cert, not like that because um, at the end of the day, we still like to drive our car <laughs> on the street. Yeah, with a lot of power, but the cool thing is a turbo so we can turn it down and uh, go get groceries. We need to be safe. We have the power. We know that we're going to run deep into the eights. That's the ultimate goal. That's why we brought it up here to Texas to Hell Horse is so that he can, you know, sprinkle his, his magic on it and uh, make the car go really fast. And uh, yeah, we're going to be saving for a built motor, but uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. You can't really argue with 1100 horsepower stock engine and um, it just really shows the efficiency of the kit. Once again, guys, if you missed it in the beginning of the video, if you want one of these kits from hellhorseperformance.com, all links will be down below. Hit up my email address, let me know that you're interested because I think that I could save you guys a couple of bucks. I honestly couldn't be more impressed. Made a bunch of power and uh, we're gonna go home and continue content and then we'll come back up here in a couple of weeks and check on the progress of the car, but it's beautiful, man. The new kit is wonderful. New four to one headers, standard ceramic coating, 1100 horsepower. You can't argue with that. Easily repeatable on your build if you want to chase something like that. People are going to hear, honestly, 1100 horsepower. They're going to be like, dude, you are throwing all the boost at this car. The truth is, we're not. Honestly, it's just very, very efficient. So, very, very efficient. Uh, lethal performance fuel system on this car. Um, FIC 1000 CC injectors, big fan of them, love them. Keys? Okay. You wanna give it a start? Oh, you unplug FBDM, I got you, I know what you're doing. So. What they're doing is they're gonna pull the uh, C85 out of the car, go back to regular ethanol. Uh, seems to work a little bit better for my application anyway. But anyway guys, that, uh, that's going to wrap up my video. Stay tuned for everything else to come with this car and everything that uh, we're going to do to it. So I'll see all you guys next video. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Be safe out there. I'll see you later.